Okay, now 72 times negative 4. That's a positive times a negative. But it's also like a teacher um, buying uh, packs of crayons. And each pack of crayon costs $4, right? So for each pack of crayons, there's a bill of $4. And she wants to buy 72 packs of crayons. So if the teacher buys 72 of those, you know, how many... How much debt is that? Is the, is kind of the question. Anyway, so you go 72 times 4, right? 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 7, 28. And so the teacher will have to pay, it'll be a debt of $288, right? Oh, that's money. Well, of course, just negative 288 would work too, right?